Last year we did a beautiful tablescape from Pottery Barn that had a lot of red tones in it. This year that doesn't really match and feel cohesive with the way that I have my home decorated. So this year I decided to go with a more rustic, natural tablescape for both tablescapes, Pottery Barn and Home Goods. I hope today's video gives you lots of ideas of what you can do different to save yourself some money. So whether you're buying your items from a less expensive place or not, I can guarantee you can make it look just as nice. Let's set our Pottery Barn table first and then we're going to move into our home goods and I'll give you some more options for your budget. If you already watched my Christmas home tour, which if you have it, I highly suggest. You know that I have a lot of deer in my decor and so this was the perfect one at Pottery Barn to go with my home. Something that I like to always do a lot of times when I'm doing a rustic tablescape is add in a little bit of glam. So in order to make this tablescape challenge fair, I'm going to use the exact same chargers and plates for each setting. And then that way there's no just kind of unfair advantage. And so we're gonna start with this beautiful sparkly charger that I think will go fantastic with our tablescape. Okay, you know I always say a pop of black makes everything look classy. So I think to really tie in this table runner, we're gonna use black plates. These black plates will end up being like the background for the star of the show, which will be your napkin. So you could use a pretty holiday plate, but if you use a solid one when you have a really pretty napkin, it gives it just a nice background to make it pop. Pottery Barn had really pretty matching napkins to go with the table runner. I will tell you that this uh, one is called Rustic Forest, and when I bought it, they were having a sale. Uh, it's, and everything will be listed down below with the prices, I believe. Okay, so normally these napkins are $48 for four. <laughs> and I do think I got them for $39. And the table runner is normally $129, and I think I got it for $103. So we're already in for like a hundred and forty some odd dollars just between these two items that I have put on the table. But then on top of that, they had these really gorgeous um, stag heads as the napkin ring and for four of them, they were $39.50. I don't believe that these were on sale. I'll have to look at the receipt and see. But so um, total we spent around $180 on the three different items that make up the actual place settings. So let's get the napkins and our little napkin rings all set to get this table looking great. So when you have brand new napkins like this, make sure you take this off and I would wash these before I actually use them. But for today's purposes, we're just gonna be making them up. So, but keep that in mind. So a lot of times I'll put my silverware in the napkin, but today I'm not going to. I kinda wanna do like a black modern thing with my, uh, flatware with the black. My goodness, I'm having a terrible time talking today. So I'm just gonna get the rest of these and I'm just like opening them up and I find the middle and then I slide it over. Those are so adorable. One more thing, keep in mind the prices that I gave you was I only bought four, like four napkins, four napkin rings. So I'm sure a lot of us don't only have four in our family. This actually works great when it's just like me and Jason, and Kelsey and Anthony. Um, but, so keep in mind that 180 is only for a service of four. It's an early December morning. Okay, this black modern silverware set is from Target. We're gonna be using it for the bow sets. I like it, it's modern, kinda of got just a cool vibe to it. Keep in mind that when you put your knife on, you always put your knife with the sharp end facing in. I love this flatware. I think this looks so great. You may have seen sitting back here these three deer and they do have these at Pottery Barn. So I decided to use them as the centerpiece of this tablescape. I will let you know that if you were to purchase these three deer at Pottery Barn, that they would be $140 for all three. I mean, let you in on a little secret. <laughs> I did not purchase mine from Pottery Barn. They are the exact same item, and I found them at Aldi, you know, the grocery store. 
and they were $29.99 um, for each one. So, oh, like this was $29.99 and then these two were $29.99. So basically I paid $60 for the exact same product. I was cracking up when I found them at Aldi, the grocery store. $140 for those, but I thought they go really nice with our theme. This table needs some greenery so bad. It makes me kind of sad to put the greenery in and cover up the pretty print, but this table just really needs some greenery and I thought it would look nice if the deer looked like they're just kind of like in a meadow. I feel like once you bring greenery to the table, it already starts to warm it up. Okay, and I always feel like candlelight is needed and so everybody, if you ever go in Pottery Barn, they have really awesome fake looking flicker candles and I'm, oh, I have to look at the price of these because I've had these for a few years. And so I thought that would complete our Pottery Barn look with our deer and their candles and everything else that we have here on the table. Okay, so now that we have our Pottery Barn items to make our centerpiece, we're gonna add our stemware, which is just what I've already had uh, since we used the plates and the chargers and the everything that I already owned. We're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna add in our stemware. That way it'll be the same when we do the home goods one. So normally your stemware would always go on this side of your table, but for today, I'm actually going to put them on the opposite sides. That way it leaves the center open for your guests to see your centerpiece. Okay, for about the millionth time here on my channel, I'm gonna show my mini salt and pepper shakers that I always add to my table, so that way you do not have to pass around salt and pepper. Oh boy, I need to fill mine back up. I haven't restocked in quite a while, okay. There. And I always just put them to the sides of each person's plate so that way they have their own. I think this looks so gorgeous, has very monochromatic, just natural rustic look to it. And I want to copy it and do the same thing with home goods and spend a heck of a lot less money. Don't forget to like today's video to help support our channel. Okay, time for round two, ready to start our home goods. Here's the deal. I wanna show you how you can actually use things you already own. You don't have to go even and buy anything from home goods or wherever you wanna shop. But so let me, let me explain a little bit. So as you know, we did the table runner from Pottery Barn that was on sale for $103. You can pretty much get any table runner at home goods, usually $24.99 and below. So there are tons of options. But I wanted to show you that I'm gonna use something different. I thought outside of the box and they had beautiful tree skirts that kind of went with my rustic theme that I was really enjoying. And they also have beautiful, I wish you guys could just reach to the screen and feel this, this is so nice. Uh, beautiful soft blankets, both inexpensive. I saw the tag on this. I think I do. Okay, yes, this tree skirt was $19.99 and this blanket was $24.99. So, right there, compared to Pottery Barn, you're way ahead. And I'm gonna show you how to make it look just as good. So, I think for my tablescape, I'm gonna save this one for another time and I'm gonna show you how to use a tree skirt because then you can always use this in your decorating. Any other time, you can put this on your tree or whatever. I did that hot cocoa bar and I did a tree skirt on my hot cocoa bar also. So keep that in mind, lots of uses for tree skirts and they have such beautiful ones out there nowadays. All right, I know what you might be thinking with a tree skirt. You might be thinking, well, first of all, I need to remove the tag. <laughs> this is a 52 inch tree skirt, if you're wondering, which is about the average size of a table scarf. So I'm sure you're gonna be wondering, Leslie, how are you doing this when there's like these holes down the back? Trust me, by the time we get this table all decorated, 
no one is even going to be paying attention to this little cuteness that's going on the back right here. I don't know if the camera is giving it justice, but it has this gold glitter all throughout. And then of course it's got the white and the black and the gold. And I love the striping. It looks really pretty in person. Now that we have the tree skirt down, we've got to put each place setting back out. So remember we're using the exact same place settings, so this should be nice and simple, but now I gotta go around and I have to do all of them. But don't forget our little salt and pepper shakers, our glass. That way we have each setting. Let's get these all done. Okay, remember how we paid $48 for four napkins from Pottery Barn? Oh my goodness, Home Goods had 12 really pretty napkins for $14.99. That was such a good deal. So the way we're gonna save our money is we are not going to use a napkin ring. We're gonna make the napkin itself the star of the show. And we're just gonna take a little bit of time and make them into adorable Christmas trees. And that way, this black background will really showcase our little Christmas tree. And the cool thing about the, uh, the napkins, yes, there's a variety of them, so they're a little bit different, but it's got that shimmer and sparkle the same way the tree skirt does. And of course, then in this charger that we're using, it's gonna look so adorable. I'm gonna show you how to do the Christmas tree and I'll do it nice and slow so you can see because I was getting confused when I was learning. All right, let's start to begin with. Here's your napkin just wide open. So I want you to fold your napkin in half and then I want you to fold your napkin in half again. So here is what it looks like. Uh, I should probably iron this. It'll look better if it was iron, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and do it for demonstration. You're just gonna fold back each one. So there should be four of them. One, two, see how they're like not on top of each other? Three, and then there's number four. This is where people get confused. I am going to take this and flip this over. Fold it like that in the back. Now you're gonna start tucking your tree up under. And I'll leave the directions down below on like where I learned how to do this. There's an awesome tutorial on Pinterest that I thought did a great job. Okay, so see how we have our tree like this and then this last one, you tuck up under also. cricket on this one. Oh, uh, Leslie, you need a little work. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Hold on. Redo. Okay. <laughs> so see, don't be feeling bad if you do not get this on the first try. Oh, but it's so cute and worth it. Okay, there. Woo. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh, those look good. Okay, this one needs to stay down. My first one I did is still the best one. What in the world? Okay, so far we have spent, let's see, $19.99 and $14.99. So we spent basically $35 and we have four times the amount of, or th we have three times the amount of napkins for that price also. Since we use Pottery Barn items for the centerpiece, we're gonna do the same thing for home goods. And I found this adorable sleigh, and it was $39.99. So, this is so cute, I love this thing. So we're gonna place this in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tag off now. And so we have $40, so we have um, 35 and 40, so we have $75 in this so far. Okay, they had these adorable wooden trees at Home Goods, and so I decided they're gonna be the centerpiece of our sleigh. But I didn't want them to be sitting down in there so far that I can't see them. So, oh, sorry. I'm just getting these two just serving bowls that I have that are white that'll just kind of blend in, and I'm putting them in there upside down, and that way. Wait, do I have that right one? Let me see. Is that one gonna be too tall? Yeah, wrong one. There we go. Okay, so that's super cute, but you know what I'm gonna say that this table needs, and we're nowhere near done. We need some greenery. 
same greenery we used with the Pottery Barn, and we are just going to have it draping across our sled and kind of coming out the back. Oh, that's cute. And we'll do it on this side, because don't forget your table you can see around both sides. And we want it to just drape kind of natural. Over here on each side, we're gonna tie it in with these wood candle holders. I always feel like candlelight looks so pretty for Christmas. Pay attention to your heights of your candles. You wouldn't want the tall next to this because we're trying to do varying heights. So keep that in mind. Okay, and I'm gonna move this one just like I did for the Pottery Barn, just so you can see the centerpiece better and put it on the opposite side. Just so we don't look tacky, see how we have the hole here? And I feel like my eye keeps going towards it. I'm gonna take some greenery and run it through under there to where it's a blocker and you don't even focus on that. And don't forget to do it on the back side for your other guests that are sitting over there. I think that this one looks just as beautiful. I actually think I like the centerpiece better on the home goods one than the Pottery Barn one. And no one's ever gonna walk in and be like, oh my gosh, you have a tree skirt in the middle of your table? No, they're gonna be like, wow, what a really great idea that is. It's so inventive, I'm gonna borrow that idea. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below which one you liked best. I have to tell you, I liked both of them. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.